am Maria Oliva with the Cape Cod Canal Region Chamber of Commerce, representing the communities of Bourne, Sandwich, and Wareham. We're here today with Wareham Media to talk about uh, issues affecting uh, the Wareham community. This is Chamber Chat, and we really appreciate being here with Linda Burke from the Wareham Oyster Festival. And Linda, tell us a little bit about the Wareham Oyster Festival, how long you've been doing it, and uh, what is it all about? Well, thanks, Marie. Thanks for having me here. Sure. Um, this is our eighth year for the Wareham Oyster Festival. It's uh, sited in downtown Wareham. It's on May 26th, Sunday, May 26th. It runs from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. Mm -hmm. And we have already, we have more than 100 craft wow. and food vendors signed up for the event. Um, obviously, the, the focus of the event is the shellfish, mm -hmm. but we have all kinds of other food available for people mm -hmm. who don't like oysters. There are, mm -hmm. uh, myself being one of them. I love oysters. <laughs> I know you do. Oysters on a half shell, <laughs> oysters Rockefeller, everything about oysters. Well, we'll have all kinds of different farmers providing oysters here for people nice. to try. Mm -hmm. And something new that we're doing this year that we haven't done in the past is we're going to try to have a survey that people can click on a QR code on their phone and they can identify which ones they like the best and, and learn maybe a little bit more about the oysters that they did try. So we also have live music all day. We start at 11 o'clock with Grace Morrison, mm -hmm. who is from Wareham. At this point, she's a national recording artist. She'll be doing some of her songwriting, storytelling, folk kind of music. And then from 1 to 3 p.m., we have the South Coast Jazz Orchestra coming mm -hmm. back. They've been with us every year. It's a 17-piece jazz orchestra. They used to play at the Old Gildas. They've been coming to the festival every year, and people just love Wonderful. them. It's all set up in Pizzoli Square. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like a food court. The music and the oysters, and we'll have beer and wine available in this Pizzoli Square area. And then all along Main Street, from Center Street to the fire station, we'll have the vendors set up along the street. It'll be close to traffic. It's great, because I've been here, and it's a wonderful community event. It's so much fun. I see people I know and say hello and shop and bring your money with you, because there's plenty of great vendors that are always here. Is this the most you've had? Because I don't remember yes. being 100 vendors before. No, it, it's never been okay. this many before. Right. And it just, it, I think it really, the event has grown year after mm -hmm. year. We, I, I think mm -hmm. I said we have done it for eight years. We had kind of a couple of years off for COVID, but then right. last year was our first year back after that. And people really, it's, it's just an enjoyable day. It's free. Yes. Um, we, it, we encourage people to park at Town Hall, and there's a mm -hmm. free shuttle bus that runs, it does a loop mm -hmm. um, from Town Hall along the back of Merchant's oh, Way all That's day great. long. It, Pizzoli Square is just so laid out and organized, that so when you come in, it's just perfect the way you set this up. And I know how much work. How much work is it to set this Oyster Festival up? Well, it, we have a very small group of volunteers. It's, mm -hmm. There's a group called Wareham Oyster Festival, Inc., and this is really oh, all we do. We do a, okay. a scholarship for um, Wareham students who are studying aquaculture. And I know you have a 5K road race. Yes, this year we're doing that on Monday. Okay, that's the, a good The idea. festival itself is on Sunday, but that just means that we're really focused on the road race. Thousands of people come mm -hmm. every year, and uh, we appreciate you working on this event all year long with your volunteers, it really makes a big difference. You know, volunteers are the backbone of any community. And Linda, we appreciate what you do. So thanks a lot for coming and uh, we appreciate it. So don't forget to come down and see the Wayham Oyster Festival on Sunday, May 26. You see what a good memory I have, right? <laughs> All right, so thank you very much everybody for uh, watching Chamber Chat with Wareham Media. Thank you very much.